What the f Have you ever thought about how dangerous diving could be? It takes hundreds of hours of preparation to jump off huge heights. The equipment must be adjusted properly, so the divers could feel safe and confident. And no drunk diving is allowed. <laughs> All my life I've thought those rules is the standard, and everyone is following them. But today we came to the Czech Republic for the High Jump Festival. Imagine a music festival with tents, lots of alcohol, DJs, rock bands, and most importantly, with high diving! Every year this place welcomes over 10,000 people for a unique music and diving experience. Everybody can try themselves on the huge platform, without even passing the alcohol test. We came up to the top 5 facts about this event, starting with the least crazy one ending with the most ridiculous one. So make sure to watch until the end. It is truly breathtaking. How High Jump Festival combines a crazy dangerous sport and a party? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, water crew? My name is Jim and I'm European cliff diving champion. Today we are traveling to Czech Republic to see an amazing event, where the party and the extreme sport get mixed up. There are no rules except to be crazy. Besides of tons of alcohol, rock music, DJs, there is going to be a competition from 20 meters platform. Moreover, there will be a splash diving challenge, rope swinging and even diving of 30 meters crane. So I decided to join this insanity, although I'm not sure. Anyhow, we decided to make a few videos about diving in Czech Republic. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'm going to to tell you five facts about this event. Ready? Let's fly! Fact 1. Everybody built their own homes. Yes, you heard it right. Pro athletes, musicians and just regular open-air guests live here in their own tents, which they put by themselves. Yes, guys, we are living in such conditions. It's a real wild nature. No hotels, no facilities, no bathrooms. I have traveled so much for diving, but I have never had to set up a sleeping space for myself. That is so exciting. Fact 2. Diving board. Very unique experience. Believe it or not, this is a real Olympic springboard, although a little bit outdated. <laughs> Did you know that there is only one factory in the world that makes this? I have been in many different outdoor diving facilities, yet this is the first time I found a real diving board outside. Not too many volunteers to jump off it. Probably because it's much scarier to jump off a springboard that looks like it's screwed to the base with nails from the 15th century. Yet it is not the scariest diving spot that we are going to talk about today. Fact 3. 12 and 16 meters platforms. These competitions are unique in a way that no other event offers 12 meters platform. <laughs> 16 meters platform and 20 meters platform. <laughs> the standard height for high diving are 20, 27, sometimes 15 meters. And the maximum height for classic Olympic diving is 10 meters. This means that athletes here have to adjust their dives to the new heights. And honestly, not everyone is good at it. Yeah! From 12 meters you can dive off head first. And that's what I'm planning on competing in. But if you dive head first of 16 or 20 meters, you may actually break your wrists or injure your shoulders. Now we are on the 16 meters platform. I just checked the quality of this platform, and honestly, it's really questionable. Just look at the space between the end of the platform and the metal frame. The divers have to jump off further, otherwise they may hit their heads on it. Diving is a very sensitive sport when it comes to distance. Everything must be measured by centimeter. And now we are on the 20 meters. This high is kinda terrifying, but there is something else that scares me a lot. You can really feel that the platform is shaking. I guess that there if uh, you make a real hard takeoff, the platform will be like. You don't have hard takeoffs. Yes, but you know, uh, with uh, 80 up to up to 90 kilos, every every takeoff is hard. Yeah, but think that at the competition there are maybe 20 people on this platform. <laughs> up to 20 people during the competition at the platform. Oh my God, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> Fact 4. There is the biggest rope swing I ever seen. Guys, I have never tried rope swinging from such a high. Yet I really want to join the competition. So I have a plan. I'm going to practice and get used to it. We'll see if I'll be able to get into top 3 while competing with pro rope swingers. Comment below if you want to see those dives. And also a tutorial on how to look solid on a rope after 30 minutes of training. Fact 5 of 5. Jumping off a huge crane. 
But here is also the most precious thing among all, a crane that brings the platform up to 30 meters. Thanks to this insane fest, for the first time in my life I saw how unprofessional divers climb up to the huge crane and jump off it. I feel like the amount of alcohol helps to cope with the fear of heights here. And finally, this is the most crazy festival, because people go insane when they climb up to the huge platform, get naked, fire up a firework, and well, I'm not gonna pronounce where they put those fireworks. Guys, of course, not everything what's going on here in this festival in Czech Republic is kind of legal. I mean, some of the facts might be 18 plus, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, write your questions here in the comments and maybe I will cover some of them in the future videos. So don't forget to subscribe, push that notification button on and please never do crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Take care, bye.